In terms of the longevity of Saban, look, he's been there now for a decade plus. He's won six championships. He's only 69 going on 70. He's got to have another five years left in him at Alabama, right? Dude, that's the new 50, right? 70, 69, 70, the new 50. Hell, I'm uh-huh. not turn 53, and I'm still acting 23. <laughs> and, 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 and I don't plan on changing. So uh, you look at Coach Saban, man. I don't think the dude ages. He takes good care of his body. He, he exercises. He works out. There's legendary little inner coaching staff basketball games they have on a weekly basis. So uh, he, he looks fine, looks no worse for wear. Uh, I was hearing rumors that uh, he, he might uh, resign after winning another championship. Uh, if You know, still may happen. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, I think he looks great. Uh, his coaching hasn't fallen off. And no matter how much turnover there is on that staff, it, the mainstay is him and his philosophy, and everyone jumps on board, and they master his approach. And, uh, you know, while – Steve Sarkeesian is the new coach in Texas. I hope some of that gravy from Pete Carroll's uh, days and also from the Nick Saban days spilled over onto his plate uh, and, and will help my, my Longhorns. But uh, Saban, uh, is, 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 he's the master. He's the best I've ever seen. Of course, I grew up watching uh, Bear Bryant there at the end of his career. But uh, Saban, he's the greatest of all time, in my opinion. Brian Jones joins us from the SEC on CBS and CBS College Football. You can't just drop that nugget and then just move on so easily. You had heard well, that's rumors. A, that's called, a, that's called a, 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 Say that again. I'm sorry. You had rumors be told to oh. you that Nick Saban was going to resign after this national championship, and then you dropped that it still could happen? I don't know if it's going to happen, but that's what was uh, told to me personally, yes, that uh, – uh, he may step down. The dude has done all you can do. He, he's won more championships than anyone, and he's made a hell of a lot of money, and he's making even more off the field. So, uh, yes, that's what I was told. And I, I was told that by the same guy that told me Sark was going to be my next coach at Texas. So do you think this offseason there's a good chance Nick Saban steps away from the game? I, I don't know what the percentages are that he would. I was just, I'm telling you, as it was conveyed to me, he wins another championship, there's a possibility he may say, okay, enough is enough. I'm going to go hang out in this business world. So it wouldn't shock you if that happened? It wouldn't shock me, no. Here I am saying that Nick Saban's going to be around for another five or six years, and then you're like, (laughs) eh, you know what? He might retire in the next two weeks. (laughs) Well, stranger things have happened in this game, right? I mean, I don't know. Have they? <laughs> have they? How much? How much? How many championships do you, do you need? I, I know it's all about winning those titles. There, uh, it, it, it's similar with uh, Richard Pryor. There, he's a money's like cocaine. Too much is never enough. So, too many championships may not be enough for for Nick Saban. But uh, as I said, my my source, who's been spot on about a number of things. Uh, not just this season, but multiple seasons that I lean on heavily. Uh, He shared that with me. So we'll see if it transpires.